Hello, future year seven Habe students, and welcome to your first Habe assembly with me. My name is Mr. Schoen. I am obviously a PE teacher based on my attire, but also the raising standards lead for year seven. And what that means is I'll be working alongside the assistant principal here at the academy, ensuring that you reach your full potential and supporting you with, with your needs whilst you are at the academy. So this assembly today is on the four R's. Now, what are the four R's? Some of you may be aware of them already, whether that be from, from your own research on the website or whether that be from maybe older siblings that have been or, 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 or are currently at the academy. The four R's are the ethos of, of the school. So they are character traits that we foster at Habe and expect to see in all our students. Now, um, we expect you to be showing these traits at all times, whether it be in or out of the academy. So it could be outside in the community on the way to school, on the way home from school. It could be in the classroom during lesson, but even, even as importantly, whether it's at break time, lunch time, uh, the transition from, from lesson to lesson, or even the enrichment clubs and the, uh, any clubs that you wish to attend. So these are four traits that we expect, and we will support you in fostering, okay? So the first one is resilience. Now, resilience is a term that I'm sure that you are aware of. Resilience is something we've all had to show during this pandemic in particular, and it's something, as I said, that we expect to see in you once you join us in September. The second R stands for resourcefulness. The third R stands for reciprocity, and that may be a new term to you, but I will go into a bit more detail on each of these in a minute and in and, and terms of the definition. And also, I will explain and give, provide some examples of how these can be shown. And lastly, reflectiveness. Now, these four R's are embedded in this, in this academy. So these are characteristics that we will we will constantly be badgering you about, um, but are something or our character traits that we expect to see at all times. So resilience. Now, what is resilience? Now, resilience is being able to withstand or recover quickly from a challenging situation. Now, how can resilience be shown in an academy? Well, it can be shown by ensuring your attendance is ninety six percent or better always being on time to school and lessons, even if you've got a slight headache, even if you have a bit of a runny nose. Being in the academy, it means that you are learning. If you are not in the academy, you are not learning. And it is as simple as that. So being resilient, getting yourself out of bed, even in those November, December months where it's freezing cold outside, making sure you're in the classroom and making sure you're getting an education. Now, the second uh, example could be opting out, never opting out, or giving up when faced with challenges at the academy. Now you will be challenged at certain points in the academy and I'm, hopefully that will be mainly in lessons where teachers will give you difficult content or difficult tasks but that is the point of a teacher and actually what I want you to do is be resilient and, and, and look at that in a positive way and really, really attempt and attack that task okay and ensuring that, that you are giving 100%. It could be going home after school, completing the required amount of homework, even though there are distractions, even though you've had a bit of a long day and 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 there's TV on or your favourite shows on. Actually, making sure you're completing that homework, making sure that you are enhancing your knowledge even further. And lastly, thinking hard. Now, thinking hard is something, a term that you will hear a lot of in secondary school, as there's something called the thinking hard strategies here, which, which I won't go into too much detail. However, thinking hard is literally what, what, what it says. So thinking hard, are you actually thinking? Are, are you trying? So that could be during the lesson, always attempting to answer questions and engaging with the work even if it is challenging. And that, again, links into the never opting out example um, a couple of boxes ago. So there's some examples, but I'm sure there's many, many more of ways that you can be resilient. And what I want you to do just for a moment is sit there and just reflect for a moment. Um, can you think of a time that you've been resilient? When's the most recent that you've been? What, what time has most recently been where you've been resilient? Could it be in school? Has it been at home where you've had to, where you've had to be resilient? So the second art is resourcefulness. Now, resourcefulness is the ability to find efficient ways to overcome difficulties, challenges and tasks. Now, examples of this could be asking questions in lesson. Do you understand? Do you not understand? If you don't understand, it's even more important to ask questions. However, even if you do, can you enhance your knowledge further? Can you ask questions that will develop your knowledge further? It could be reading around the topic. So, for example, in history, are you, are you learning about World War II? Are you learning about World War I? Are you learning about the Victorian era? So, do you know what happened before or after? Could you read around? it to further enhance your knowledge and become the best version of yourself in that subject.
It could be using different materials to create a piece of art, whether that be in art itself or in design technology. It could be using different resources to enhance your understanding. It could be reading books, websites, documentaries, watching a film, a factual film about that, that certain topic to even further enhance your knowledge and, and, and develop your understanding. Using feedback from class teachers to improve your grades. So obviously when you complete homework and, and classwork, teachers will market it and, and give you feedback for you to improve on that. It's something called dirt time here at the academy, which is where you actually have part of the lesson to respond to feedback. And that's even more important than some of the others because actually that is you allowing you to learn from maybe some errors or mistakes to correct them for future reference and lastly having all the required equipment with you so that means having your pencil case with you having your school bag with you it could be having your PE kit on days of PE have you got your planner with you have you got it signed by your parent and guardian all these things show that you are being resourceful and, and efficient when it comes to challenges tasks or difficulties now the third, uh, third R stands for reciprocity. So reciprocity is, is a process of exchanging things with other people in order to gain a mutual benefit. Now how can this be shown in secondary school? Well, you are respectful and responsible in the classroom. So you create the environment in your classroom where the teacher can teach and you can learn. And what are you getting out of that? Well, you're getting an excellent education and it gives you a chance to develop your knowledge. Second example could be working collaboratively with someone, whether it be a pair or a small group, to discuss a topic in English, history, geography, drama. The third example, not, not being biased, is a P example. So working as a team, whether it be uh, representing the academy in one of the school, school teams, football, rugby, netball, or even just in a normal PE lesson. Can you work as a team to, to win the match or to um, lead a, a really good warm up as a group? And lastly, you hand in homework in maths for the teacher to mark and offer feedback to them, therefore improve your understanding and knowledge further. Now, the, four, the final R is reflectiveness. So reflectiveness is a process of, of consideration for yourself on your actions and behaviours. And, and we always reflect as humans. It's human nature. However, what we always want you to do in the academy is reflect and, 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 then, and then act on your actions. So whether it, be, um, whether it be reflecting on a piece of work, whether it be reflecting or on a task that you've completed, whether it be reflecting on your behaviour at certain times within the academy, so how could this, how could reflectiveness be, be, be shown in the classroom or in the academy? So challenge yourself to be better each and every day. And that is a really big one. Challenge yourself to improve your grade from your last assessment. So put in more work. Are you completing the amount right amount? Are you, are you, are you putting in as much effort as you should be? Ask yourself this question. Will your future self thank you for doing this? And this is a quote that my colleague uh, told me not too long ago, actually, but that stuck with me. So ask yourself all the time, in 10 years' time, the actions that you're doing now and your behaviours, will, will that person say thank you to you for, for doing that? And are you behaving like a HAPE student should be? Are you ready? Are you responsible? And are you respectful? So by being reflective, if you are allowed to, to progress and to improve, so why the four R's? And this is where I'm going to finish. But the four R's will prepare you for adult life. They will prepare you for sit form, college, university, employment. Um, as adults, we have to show all four of these traits every single day. And you guys will do as well once you enter the academy, but also once you leave the academy. And these four, as I said right at the beginning, we will help you develop these over time. Um, but these are something that we expect to see in you every single day whilst you're here. Now, lastly, for me, I look forward to seeing you all in, in, in September. Obviously, I know there is the summer school. I will be there. So please do say hello. I hope you have an amazing summer and I look forward to seeing you either at the summer school or on your first day in September. Take care.